Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Keandra. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. So today I have some exciting news. So I'm officially a mother. I know, I know, I know. Finally, I have someone that I want you guys to meet. If you follow me on Instagram, you already have seen probably. If not, please meet. Mr. Yogi Bear. Y'all, this is my creation. I gave birth to him. His name is Yogi. I don't know what he's doing right now, but oh, he wants to lay down. This is Mr. Yogi Bear. Everyone say hello. Be nice. This is his favorite place to lay because um, one, he chewed up the wood here. And also, the marble is the coldest, coldest spot to lay in the house. And as soon as he gets off of here, if you rub his belly, it's going to be super cold. And he loves it. And if you haven't seen before, this is Miss Fendi. She is our mother over here. No, that's not really his mother. But she is four years old. She doesn't really care too much for him. I think she kind of doesn't like him. But they're together all day, every day. Look, she just looks like she's sick of him. But yes, my yogi is a French bulldog. He's lilac and tan. He has tan points. He is about six months. He'll be six months in two weeks. Um, when I got him, he was about three months. He was a baby baby. And I'll insert a picture just so you guys can tell the difference of what he looked like when we picked him up. No particular reason why we chose him. Um, his personality, he's super cute. He's staring at me. He's like, what are you doing? He is just staring. He was trained on potty pads to use the bathroom, but honestly he misses, well he used to miss a lot. He didn't really have accidents, only in the cage he would have accidents. Now we're like working on potty training, crate training, and it is getting better. But I think part of it is also him, he's walking through the blinds. Part of it is him getting older, working on that, but that is my baby. Um, I love him so much. I don't even, I used to think dog moms were like extra a little bit, but no, I completely understand the hype. It taught me that I'm not ready to be a mother to a human being yet. It does take a lot of patience, I'll say. That's my puppy. Look at that handsome boy. Okay. See. <laughs> I will say that the Frenchie temperament, he definitely has it. Like, he'll give me a side eye and a heartbeat. He farts so much and they stink so bad. People say that potty training is harder for them um, compared to any other dog, but honestly, I've never had another dog that I had to potty train, so I can't speak to it. But I will say, I think just in general, having a puppy, it takes patience, 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 patience. He's currently eating. I wish I would just stop getting interrupted. Go to your bed. He's currently eating kibble. I'll insert a picture of it. It's a fish-based one um, because I've heard that a lot of Frenchies are allergic to chicken and he was already eating a salmon type of food. I just changed the brand. He is very stubborn. Like I'll be talking to him and I know he hears me because he has them big old ears and they flip like back when he hears something. So I know he hears me, but it's like he's ignoring me. It's not as bad as like with me versus other people, like he will not listen. 
What else? Working on potty training outside. I work from home, so it isn't too hard for me to get, like, to take him out pretty often. It's just a matter of timing, I think, and just getting him on a routine. I feed him once a day, he eats in the morning, so that I feel like by the end of the day, he gets it all out his system because he used to be really bad at having accidents in the cage. But now, like I said, he is doing a lot better because um, he sleeps he sleeps in the cage overnight. Oh my gosh, he is making so much noise. Let's lay down. He has this thing about biting his bed. I don't know what it is, but he, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he gets water throughout the day as well because like I said, I'm home. Um, I try to walk him two to three times a day in the morning after I get off work and then before bed just so I feel like he's getting energy out throughout the day. I always say I need him to hit his 10,000 10, steps, so I do what I can in order to help him get there. The walks, they're really not that long. Probably like, it's dependent on him, the walks, because he could be in the mood to walk, he could not be in the mood to walk. Like I said, the temperament is real. So it just depends. Sometimes they're like 10 minutes, sometimes they're 20 minutes. Just depends what I can get out of him. He does, like I said, sleep in the crate at night with his, um, we have like a pad for the crate. So he sleeps on that. He's very sensitive to sound. As soon as he hears like my alarm go off in the morning, he will be up and ready to rumble. He won't like cry and scream. He used to scream really bad. Like I could not sleep type scream. I don't know what it was from. I don't know if it's cause he had to use the bathroom. I don't know if he just couldn't sleep throughout the night yet, but now he'll like chirp a little bit. It, so it sounds like chirping to me. He'll chirp a little bit. He won't like full on bark, but he'll just let you know that he's up and he's waiting for you. Like why? Sit down. Collar that he has right now is from PetSmart. It was, I think it was like almost $20. Why is he looking at me like that? <laughs> I told y'all he's rude. It was from PetSmart and then also this reflective collar or tag is from, he's like, why are you touching me? PetSmart as well. See, he'd be trying to push me with his hands. Like, do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Huh, huh, huh? You want to fight? You want to fight? You want to fight? No, he's so sweet though. So this is the harness that I have for him. The brand, I couldn't tell you because it's from Marshalls. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, like I was saying, this um, is from Marshalls or Ross or TJ Maxx. One of those, I'm not sure. My mom got it for him. It's a size medium because he's, he's a little thick but it's adjustable. They have his old one, um, was also from Ross or Marshalls or something like that. They're very inexpensive and I feel like a good quality, so. And this is the leash that I have. This is from PetSmart. I think it's a 10 foot one and I think that was about $20 too. And then this is just a poop bag holder from Bath and Body. And I just keep this on here in case I have to pick up his poop and need sanitizer because that's gross. Um, and then you can just replace the bags once it's done. I don't have too many toys for him. I'm just considering that he, well him and Fendi, they can't share toys because she's very territorial, territorial over her toys. And she thinks that every toy is her toy. But this is the bone that I got him. I got like three of them. They're like puppy bones to help them like with their teething and gnawing and stuff. So I got those from PetSmart. I think they were like $5 or $6, something like that. But it shows you on the pack like what kind of, um, like the thickness of it or something like that. And then I also have a few of these that I got from probably like Ross as well. Um, if you didn't know, you need to go there to get your pet stuff because it's so much cheaper than like PetSmart and it is still good quality stuff. 
and they have so many different kinds of stuff but these little balls he loves to play with in the house he likes to chase them he pretty much plays with himself with them sometimes i'll go outside and like throw it and he'll bring it back we're working on fetching but for the most part he does enjoy this very much i also got this airpod holder from i think it was marshall's as well basically it's just a frenchie on the front if you can't tell i'm obsessed um, it's so cute, and I think it was like $6. It was like $5.99, but yes. Here he go now. Here he go. Oh, the yarn and everything. But that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed and stay tuned for more content. If there's anything you want to know about having a dog, being a dog mom for the first time, any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.